In this video, we will show you how to connect the Hyperion storage system from BMZ to the Coastal Plenticore Plus or Plenticore BI. Please note the information relating to proper use. To operate a battery system, please first install the Coastal Smart Energy Meter. If you wish to connect the battery to a Plenticore Plus, you will also need an appropriate activation code. You can get this code from the online Coastal Solar Electric shop. Please also watch the training videos about the Plenticore and Coastal Smart Energy Meter in preparation. During installation, you will need protective earthen conductor cable with cable shoe to fit, a PV cable for the DC connection, a pair of SunClicks plugs from the Plenticore accessories. Please also note the scope of supply for the BMZ Hyperion storage system. Before getting started, Switch off any components in your PV system that may already be running. Please install the battery system as outlined in the enclosed installation instructions. The Hyperion can be fitted in an upright or suspended position. Observe the recommended minimum spacing from the Plenticore. Guide the connection cable through the cable glands provided on the battery system and establish the connections with the inverter and the equip potential bonding bus bar. Start by connecting the PE connection of the battery to the Equip Potential Bonding Bus Bar. Note, it is absolutely essential that this connection is made. There must be no potential difference between the PE connection of the Plenticore and the battery. Be particularly careful to ensure that all cables are installed and routed in an EMC-appropriate manner. For operation on the Plenticore, the communication plug assignment at RS-485 must be changed. To do this, disconnect the X2 plug from the BMS Master, green 8-pole plug at top left. Place the yellow strand from pin 1 to pin 3, RS485+, and white strand from pin 2 to pin 4, RS485-. Pin 5 and pin 7 must be bridged. Finally, connect the X2 plug back into the BMS Master. Now connect the communication cable to the Plenticore at the terminal block connector. Connect the other end of the cable to the X601 terminal of the Plenticore. Note, we recommend using a network cable of category 5E or higher. Now establish the DC connections. To connect the Plenticore, please use the pair of SunClicks plugs provided. Check all electrical connections and finally screw the cover onto the battery system. The system is now ready for commissioning. Switch the DC circuit switch on the left of the Hyperion to on. Then start the Plenticore by activating the AC fuses. Open the Plenticore web server and enter the battery activation code if needed. Configure the battery functionality in the service menu. Finish by moving the DC circuit switch of your Plenticore to the ON position. The inverter now launches on the grid and you can use the battery 